Coming in from high school, I was super under-recruited. Nobody knew who I was. I wasn't the most strong and I wasn't the most athletic, but I have a really big competitive spirit. I was just coming in with the mindset, like trying to separate myself and be that fierce little dude out there on the court. Oh my boy! He showed flashes of the talent he had, and then there were other times where you could tell he was young. He was wild. He would take some shots where I, from my couch, I was, you know, what the heck is he doing? After my sophomore year, I reached out to my brother and I said, this team could really use some of your knowledge and the attitude and the youth that you can bring to this team. I reached out to Chris and, and Chris was awesome, man. I wanted someone who was young, who was energetic, someone who had been a really good player that could be a terrific young mentor for our guys. And he kind of fit everything I was looking for. You know, forget about him being Boo's brother. The head coach that has a son, that's different. But for one brother to coach another brother, there's a dynamic that, you know, we had to navigate. When you have a sibling around, you know, they tend to notice your mistakes a lot more often than everyone else's and express more anger towards you, like, as, a, as far as coaching goes, like yelling and stuff. I'm probably more hard on Boo than I am on any other player that we coach. So I think that makes it easier. It's no sugarcoating. I think that's helped me mature, helped me grow as a person, as a man. I don't want to take credit because he put the work in. This is what he's done. To see him now as a senior, what he's become as a leader, he's played the best basketball of his career. How about a one second difference? Game and shot clock. Who's got to either win us the game or we do go to overtime? The poise and the confidence that I remember just looking at him before he even started to make the play. I'm sitting there trying to think about what move I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna get open. The clock got down to about 10 and I couldn't think of anything. So I was just like, all right, I gotta go. Bowie, looking, working, driving inside. I remember him just being super excited. He was yelling a lot. This is where I try to still stay young and hit with the guys, but I told him, you're him. I said, you are him. All these young kids say you're him when somebody's the guy. From where he was as a freshman, the ups and the downs, winning three games as a freshman in the Big Ten, it's just literally a dream. It was a cool, cool moment. I've been a part of a lot of losing in, in, in my journey here. The improbable season has taken an impossible turn. Northwestern has beat number one. We make it history. We make it history. That was the first time the court has ever been stormed in my four years here. I left the bench and ran up to my wife. I see my kids want to sleep. And then I finally run back down to the court and celebrate with everyone else and see Boo. And uh, I'm probably getting a little emotional. I had my moments, but like to see him get his, I was more happy and proud of that, you know, than my own. So that's what, you know, that's why I'm sitting here crying like a baby. Just proud, just so proud. This kid is the youngest and he's the baby and there's such a gap that he's little bro, but like son too at the same time, right? I don't want this to be just about me and him, but that dynamic is there. Everything that we've been through, you know, him growing up watching me play. My senior night, I'm bawling, crying in my mom's arms. I'm sad. I knew it. 
He's just there chewing his gum, happy as could be, little as heck. I think I was like 10. I was wearing a white polo. I had a mohawk and I was dribbling the ball, waiting to be called on the court. I remember taking a big picture at the center circle. I was just sitting there thinking like, man, I can't wait for this to be me one day. Like his time is over now, so now it's about to be my turn. He grew up a Penn State fan. He watched his big brother play. Now his senior night is against them. He ain't cry on mine, but I'm gonna cry on his. I'm excited. I'm gonna have a lot of family here. Seeing me perform at the college level for the first time for many of them. It's gonna be awesome. Thinking about this being my last game in Welsh is, is crazy because it feels like yesterday that I was just a freshman walking into this place. You won't ever realize how much you love being there until you're gone and, and how basketball and college days are the best days that you're gonna have in your life. <laughs>